Hi, my name is Sean Beasley. Thank you for choosing OTRS. Today we want to talk about the master slave ticket function. So let's go to our package manager and install the master slave module. When we click on package manager, we have to make sure that there's an online source here, then we can click update. Then we'll see the online repository and we can look for the master slave module and then just click on install. Once it's installed, then we can start using the functionality. So let's create our first master ticket by clicking on the phone ticket and here you'll notice that there's a new field in the ticket mask it says master ticket and when you drop, open up the drop down menu you'll see that there's only one option and that's new master ticket. This is a indication that there are no master tickets currently within the system so we'll add a from an email address, we'll assign it a queue, we'll give it a subject that helps us identify it this ticket later in the screencast, then we'll add a body and we'll select create a new master ticket and we'll click create so now that we have our first master ticket let's go ahead and create a slave ticket we do this by filling out the from field selecting the queue and we'll take the uh, same subject that we used before with the uh, exception we'll have to correct our spelling mistake we don't want a mater ticket we want a master ticket and we'll copy that into the body as well and change master exchange master with slave so that it's easily identifiable later in the screencast then we'll go to our master ticket drop down menu and we'll choose our master ticket that we created just a while ago and we'll click create So let's see how this works out at the end. Now we've got a slave ticket here. We can see that it's a slave. We can see that its parent or its master ticket is here. Then we can click on this link and automatically will be redirected to the master ticket. So let's go back into our slave ticket. Let's click on our child link. And uh, the importance here is that the master always has to have children and that the slave always has to have parents. So now we go back into the master and we type in a close note and we click close and then we'll see that when we go back into our system and we search for our tickets we'll only have the two system t tickets in our system at this point so let's go ahead and search for the all closed tickets. Now we'll see our two tickets. Let's open up our slave and we'll see there's been a note added to our slave, closes slave as well and the status is closed linking tickets after creation is a little bit more complicated so here we have two tickets a ticket to be a slave in the future and a ticket to be a master in the future let's go into the master ticket and you would normally link these tickets or create a master ticket in the free field section but you'll notice that it's not configured by default let's go into the sysconfig we'll search uh, we'll select the group ticket and go to core ticket free text to find out which free text field is defined as our master ticket field. In scrolling down we find out that free text field number 12 is the one that's going to be used. So we're going to go back into our sysconfig and go to front end agent ticket view free text. We're going to scroll down to our viewable free text keys and turn on or add number 12 and set it to active by adding a 1 in the value or in the content. Once we click enter and the screen refreshes, then we can go back to the free text field of our previous master ticket and we'll see that we have the ability to select the master link now. So we'll select master and click submit. So now that we've designated this as master, now what we need to do is we need to link the child ticket in order to get the true master slave functionality. So we'll copy the ticket number, we'll go to link, and we'll search for the child ticket. Then we'll have to be careful when we're linking it because we are linking the slave to 
the master, so we need to make sure that we link it as, as stated here, a child. Now we can jump to our child ticket by clicking on the link. And we have to create the relationship for the master-slave relationship. So we'll select slave on our child ticket. And now we've completed the process. Now we have a slave, which has a parent, and a master, which has a child. So it's a little bit more complicated than it is during ticket creation. Now we can go into the slave ticket and create a note. This note and any other notes and things that pa happen with this slave ticket will never appear in the master ticket. However, if we create a note or an email or if we change the status of the master ticket, these changes will all be re reflected in the slave tickets. So now we have two notes in our slave ticket and one note in our master ticket. And that's the master-slave ticket function in a nutshell. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks.